wait. Doctor, I saw Mamie is the medical doctor who is said to heal spiritually, of course, by praying over those who are ill. Well, we've told you much about this healing prayer sessions in Cleveland over the years, and now he's working with a NASA scientist. Their goal is to prove that spiritual prayer is, in fact, science. It's a tall order, proving that what's going on here is science. The spontaneous healing prayer can not only reach its mark in human healing, but that it can also be scientifically measured. Dr. Nimi is the key here. Uh, with him, we have just a tremendous opportunity to advance this type of research. George Sikusky is a NASA research scientist from Virginia who believes Dr. Namie's healing prayers can be measured remotely over long distances in a closed metal box used to measure electromagnetic images. What I think is going on is the electromagnetic signal is creating resonances at the molecular level and time sequence correctly that is causing these physical healings. This is too much science for me so I asked George for a translation. In our three-dimensional world that is the, the, the true physical healing is taking place from the electromagnetic radiation. Under controlled conditions, when Dr. Namie prays in Cleveland for a healing, the energy from that prayer can be registered scientifically, Chikusky says, at his office in Virginia. If you have a, a closed metal box, there is no electromagnetic energy in it unless you put it in there. How is it getting in there? It's coming through the, through the field from prayer. George, you're a NASA researcher, a scientist. Put it in layman's terms, what does this mean? We are measuring the, the artifact of prayer. Artifact meaning we're detecting and measuring the electromagnetic signature as a result of prayer. George, Dr. Namie is a medical doctor who does spiritual healing. What do you make of that equation? The knowledge he has is astounding and, and having the, the medical and spiritual, it's too bad he's not, doesn't have the electrical engineering background or he wouldn't need me. Scientists and skeptics put little stock in words. They want to see proof, results of comparative studies and double blind tests that prayer is science. I've done some homework though in terms of researching what the critics would say. And what I found was if you are really changing the way science is understood, you need to have 10,000 repeatable experiments that can be validated. We could do that in two days. Tomorrow night at six, what Dr. Namie has to say about the shift in his work from healing people through prayer to working with a NASA scientist, working to prove that spiritual healing isn't just a matter of faith, but that it's also provable science. Also tomorrow night at six o'clock right here on News Channel 5, I'm going to be showing you the very first videotape of one of these scientific experiments to record an episode of healing prayer. It's a subject that raises many questions for many people and of course your comments and questions are welcome. Write me at henry at newsnet5.